mash and some wire and a doge out yonder it's the world's smallest applause there <laughs> thank you thank you very much what is going on guys welcome back to the channel um we got some wire got some speakers got some stuff um, so I will be the first to admit I am the farthest person to know anything about anything when it comes to wiring, stereo systems, audio systems, anything like that. So um, I bought a bunch of stuff and I don't know what to do with it. So Doge is going to help me do something with it. <laughs> um, as for the brand, uh, the brand is Scar. Everything it was like a whole kit. Uh, my buddy Vu, if you guys watched, probably this time last year, uh, big turbo S2000, like stroked out, all that jazz. He also has a very good audio setup in his car, and he actually recommended that I do the SCAR stuff because he's running some of their products and he's gonna be changing his speakers out to those. I don't need anything crazy. I don't need anything drastic or really expensive. So this whole setup um, so far is about five, six hundred dollars. Uh, I got four speakers, four, six and a half, two for the, two for the doors, uh, the tweeters, the thingies for the crossovers, crossovers. Um, two extra speakers to go behind the seats since there's no speakers back there on these cars, at least on my car. Um, and an amp, and then the amp wiring kit which we just got back from getting and get some lunch. So we're going to eat really quick, we're going to rip this stupid car apart and we're going to start doing stupid stuff to it. So if you guys watched the other video which may or may not have been out before this one, uh, which is not done yet because I'm still filming it while still doing this one. I'm just taking a break because I have to drop stuff off on Monday. But I uh, built my first turbo manifold. So if you guys didn't watch that video yet, be sure to watch it when it comes out. And if it's already out, be sure to go watch it. Looks dope. And if anyone says anything about why waste gates on cylinder one, it's because this big old thick ass boy, I didn't know where else to put it. So fight me. It works. I'm proud. I'm stoked. All right, lunch has been had. First thing first. Jack up your car. Second thing, disconnect your battery using a flex head that doesn't. You're just going for challenge, aren't you? <laughs> the one handed challenge. The one handed flex head. Let me see if I can. Andy, oh, there we go. Andy, you're negative first. Yeah. Am I going to arc it? You be the judge. Okay. You are a welder. I mean, it's in your. It's oh, yeah. Your I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, but I finally sourced a uh, coil pack cover. Shout out, Vu. And I got a fancy oil cap. Also, shout out Vu. Just shout out Vu in general. Yeah. <laughs> AKA Kaizen Media. Are you Arizona locals that want professional photography done of any sort, mostly automotive, but anything? He a boy. <laughs> Don't, I think I technically have the wrong size battery in here. You do. Yeah, because I think this one's a little too small, but it at least has a nice little handle. It's one of them water ones. <laughs> and here it's slishing around. It should be a normal 52R. Uh, it's a 51. That's weird. Here, have a leaf. You said you're ruining my interior? I am. You better what? just spend all the time making it pretty. I'm just gonna get dusty. We finna have some beats in here. We have some what? Beats. Beats? Four, six and a half, and then probably in, a, I don't know, two months or something, three months, slap a sub in this hoe. I've only had a sub once in my life, and it was on my very first car, which was like a 98 V6 Camaro. Just had a ridiculous, oversized, like, I don't know, it, it was a big old fatty 12. But uh, the whole car rattled. But that's the only time I've ever, yeah, once I've ever experienced anything like that. Um, you disconnected the battery, didn't we? Yeah, why? Balls. Top? Oh, just would have been easier with the top up, but it's, just take a look at Oh, you no, you on? You break on. Oh, key in the on hey. position. There you go. Helps. That should be good. Look at strong. Yeah, strong dodge. The uh, trick is to try not to hit the interior. Look. Hey, got a business card. <laughs> hey, I don't know where this Phillips egg came from. Also free. <laughs> Some free leaves I can see to the ground. So I'll hit up Jeremiah at uh, San Leandro Honda. Yeah, San Leandro Honda. Jeremiah Usen. Usen. You just Usen. dog somebody. 
So I'm gonna be putting the ant back here behind this because I don't actually have a spare tire. Um, oh, he screwed it in, what a weenie. Okay, yeah, so this is where the amp is gonna go. I have a pre-cut piece of wood, and I'm just gonna drill a hole for it to bolt it here, and voila! Okay, it's this piece of wood. Piece of wood? Piece of wood. This guy. It's already pre-sized to the amp, uh, courtesy of Voo. Oh, let's open up box number one really quick. Test fit on the speakers, because the, the stock speakers are six and a half, so that's why I got six and a half. Um, and then I just kind of figured I'd do six and a half behind the seat, so we're going to have to drill in the plastics and all that stuff, but shouldn't really have to trim out any metal. Um, at least Voo didn't have to on his, he said, so we're going to try and copy his setup. I love how his sound is. So grab one to test fit. What are you doing over here? Oh, yeah. Got the Schweier coming through. Licorice stuff. Li <laughs> licorice. Well, uh, he, he found a nice little grommet conveniently placed to pull the power wire through. So, this is where I'm wanting to run the six and a half is in this panel right here. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, we can't run this rear speaker, so I'm gonna actually, we've been kind of going over options, so I'm actually gonna end up returning these ones uh, these were just separate from the actual big box. The big box is everything else that was uh, as a package deal. So these I'm gonna return. We went to a local audio shop that we bought the amp wiring kit from. The guy was really, really cool there and was hyped to help us. Um, so I'm gonna go there, support local, because that's just, I like doing that. This is the area that I wanna put it. This is the area that we have to work with. So uh, I'm gonna take some measurements. We're gonna still wire it for it and then we're just gonna leave the cables unhooked from the amp. Mm -hmm. and then I can come back and I can just slap some new speakers in when I get them. But at least for today, we'll have the much better door speakers put in and everything wired up. Yee. So we can see what's in box, box number two. I save this stuff because I use it for shipping the bars. Oh. <laughs> I started saving all the bubble wrap foam stuff whenever I get stuff from Amazon. Cycling, man. You don't realize how expensive shipping accessories are yeah. until you have to do it like Got like ESD foam sometimes yeah it's stupid okay so I'm assuming this is probably the amp that's heavy lots of paper I don't know why I'm taking it out I should probably leave it in the box whatever <laughs> where's the front of the box at there is no front of the box it is just a box. Oh, there's more tape. <laughs> Boom. Huh, well, there's the dimensions right there. Shwala. This looks baller. <laughs> I again express the fact that I've never had even remotely nice audio equipment. I put some Walmart or Amazon special door speakers in the Miata before I sold it and I thought that was hot stuff. Um, so I'm hyped to actually have some, some solid stuff. Some new tweeters. I'm, I'm curious on the speakers, we should uh, compare. Oh, from these ones to those ones? Yeah. Actually, they do look a little bit different. Yeah, they do. Wow, yeah, quite a bit. It look like 2.64. <laughs> That's 2.64 inches? Tape measure right there. I know I got my metric eyes, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so, huh? <laughs> Ye of little faith. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab some beers. What do you got? Bud Light Lime. Thank you. I'm always experimenting with new stuff. There's a Awa. Thanks. That's pretty refreshing. Cheers. Right, so what we're looking at for tweeter, this is the stock little guy right here. Um, stock paper door speakers, I'm assuming, are just cheap. I mean, they don't sound terrible by any means, uh, especially for the age of them, but they're definitely not very loud. Actually, this might be a number. That's, kind of weird. that's my rattle. I hear this while I'm driving. It drives me insane. I'm going to investigate. Well, here's the new tweeter. <laughs> compared to the old tweeter. And Doge found so, leftover Thanksgiving. Apologies, I knocked the stuffing out of Chris's car. 
That's so, really weird. It looks nasty from over here. <laughs> but, it's like, I hope you like hash browns. Yeah, right. I got you some hash browns. So I think we might be able to just replace this whole thing because I don't really... Screwdrivers up here still. I don't really care particularly for the black style um, one. I like the retro look on this one, so I might try and figure out how to make it sad. It won't shoot. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how to get it to sit in there. I'll figure that part out in a sec. For the tweeters, this is what I did. Uh, this is a factory tweeter cover thing. I just basically took the Dremel to it, cleaned it out. Um, so you can see the factory one as compared to this one. Looks pretty, pretty darn similar. So I think it is a little roughed up around the edges just from doing the cutting and stuff. So I'm gonna try and find something to either wrap it with or cover it with or uh, just hide the blemishes. Um, I might have some fabric paint or like uh, plastic paint somewhere around here. So I might be able to get away with just giving it a quick scuff on top of the sandpaper. And it's held in because the, these tweeters have like a big um, aluminum ring that threads it. So it's, it's nice and solid in there. So we ran into a little bit of a trick with mounting the tweeters because the factory tweeters are held in with little screws. Um, so we're just hot gluing them lightly to the door. There's not much weight to them, so it should be fine. But as for these things, the crossovers, this is just some random little pouch, I guess, that goes on the door. I don't know if it's to help amplify or like um, take out noise and stuff in the doors from the music as is. But this thing already almost fits in there. So I'm gonna just trim out this little corner down here so it's a snug fit. Doge is gracefully working on uh, running all the wiring and everything for it. He's already got the power hooked up to everything. Um, he's just running the stuff for this stuff and the tweeters and whatnot. So making steady progress. Stuff is also confusing to me, so I'm just kind of along for the ride. He tells me what to cut, what to trim, and uh, I do that because <laughs> that's all about, about all I'm good for at the moment. Perfect. Yeah, that fits in there perfect. So now I can just run some screws in there really quick and it'll hold itself in place. Dope. Okay, got it screwed in, found some self tappers. Ain't going nowhere. So I'm working on wiring in this, uh, whatever this thing's called, I don't even know. Pain in the ass, so I don't like doing this stuff. Small, it's because it's all tucked in there, I gotta use this little spade thingy splices in here and then like bend it to get it to actually bite but we're making it work and I actually remember to put my heat shrink on first this time Okay, two of them done. Well, I, well, I mean two wires done. <laughs> Some progress is better than no progress. What about your progress? Uh, we're gonna see. No. This isn't as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> All right, it's been a few days um, since we messed, or I messed up and uh, couldn't wire in any of the stuff because nothing fit. I don't know where that last clip exactly left off at. But, so I ordered the modify speaker rings. So those came in yesterday. Um, so I should be able to use my front speakers now, those scars. And I returned the rear ones and I went to the audio shop where we got the uh, amp wiring kit. And I picked up a set of these Pioneer six and a halfs by two and three eighths, I think. Something like that, just under two and a half inch. So hopefully we can make those fit. Um, those is back. Um, yeah, we're gonna pick up where we left off. We got a little bit of extra speaker wire too, so. Um, but, first things first. Doge has to land a kickflip first tee. Why don't you do this to me? You hurt my knees earlier. I snapped my ankle step on it. I got, I got money on it. I got five bucks on a first tee kickflip. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Get it. Get it. <laughs> Just come over there and pick up the five bucks. <laughs> First dry kick for the five bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never been on a skateboard before. Here you go. <laughs> you haven't? No. What? I know. You're wild. Pretty much. First dry kick for the five bucks. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the rear speakers just test fit it. It's gonna fit hopefully without having to build out. I do have to dent this piece out. I don't want to notch it because structure, but this I think 
kind of suck it back in there. So I'm gonna just roll that lip back using a good old uh, body hammer. And make sure it fits. That just hurts my ears. How do you pull this thing off? I'm trying to get my arts and crafts on, and I definitely got an F in that in school, so I'm trying to make my little speaker ring to build away from it. Uh, I just drilled a pilot hole. I'm trying to use this thingy uh, to cut the inside. Oh, I gotta cut both, but I need this inside hole cut first, and I gotta shape the outside or whatever. So, uh, trying my best here. Got my helper. Probably because you don't <laughs> give him credit in your videos either, just like oh. you don't do me. Hey, I give those shout outs all the time. Yeah, but not me, you fuck. Okay, I'll give him a shout out. Shout out NSX116 on Instagram. Go follow Ramon. He's got a badass NSX. And yeah, he's got me on camera saying that, even though I hate him. <laughs> um, and, a, and a badass S2K. Go give him a follow because he needs some love. And then uh, tell him that uh, T37s are passe and he needs to get newer wheels on his NSX. Thank you. Meanwhile, Meanwhile. what are you doing? Making these speaker ring thingies. Is that what they're speaker spacer rings? Speaker spacer? Yeah. It ain't as easy. Say it five times fast. Speaker spacer thingies. Speaker five times. <laughs> he's like, he's like who am I going to offend <laughs> if I screw this up? <laughs> Okay, speaker rings, or the, yeah, speaker rings, the space rings, cut out. Just laid a coat of paint, I'm gonna let them dry. Uh, I, I don't do woodworking, so that was uh, a little tricky for me. Doge basically has the front speakers wired in. So pretty much all that's left is once those are finished curing, uh, I can trace out and trim the plastics and then get them mounted. And then just plug everything in. So I got the back section on the driver's side pretty much finished up. So this little bit of gap here is going to be inevitable because the backing uh, plate of the MDF that I made. So not a huge deal. The seat's always back anyway. But I had to obviously take that hook off. So I got the screw in there. I'll have that hook. Uh, I got to pull this back out so we can wire it up. But yeah, time to do the same thing to the other side. Just ruined probably a hundred and fifty dollar plastic. You changed. I've changed. <laughs> you don't work on shit boxes no more. No, now I'm making my <laughs> nice box of shit boxes <laughs> by adding some. <laughs> I don't know. Six, seven. I'm, I think I'm at like six or seven hundred dollars now into this audio system. Yeah, I think about seven hundred. And, and I still have to add a sub. So I'll pro it'll probably by the time it's done, it'll probably be about a thousand, eleven hundred dollar audio system. But top down, titties out, on the way to your mom's house, <laughs> music's gonna be bumping. My mom's house is literally a two minute drive, <laughs> so way to go there. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up all twenty people between here. And there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, it'll be really nice though, because like something that my girlfriend and I like to do while we're driving, like road tripping, to keep like. I guess occupied is watch movies and stuff, like listen to movies and whatnot. So before this last time when Doge and I went to California to Chris's house, um, we had to have the volume maxed out and we could still barely hear it. Even with the top up, just a little bit of wind noise that comes in and then some obviously movies are quiet and then loud. Whereas with this, it'll be like having surround sound in the car and it's gonna be nice. So I'm excited. So we bought a sports car to watch movies. You're damn right. <clears throat> Portable theme. But somehow this didn't look as janky as I thought it would. And it's gonna sound pretty damn good. He's doing a little overkill on this, but yeah, should be pretty decent. He's got four, master wire over here, so with four tweeters and what are those things called that Doge is touching? Crossovers, and then also have a sub. I'm trying to do this, the second second side, passenger side, um, requires two sets of hands though, because two rings, a piece of plastic, a speaker. It all is a little tricky. Oh, oh. No aggressive.
All right, so we got this one done. Now I just gotta finish wiring everything up and uh, hope for the best. So I had to take a bit of a break. I had some side work come by. Uh, Doge has just been cranking out this wiring stuff. Look at that sunset. That's pretty. That's nice. <laughs> but it's uh. Well, how much is left? I don't, I don't even know where we are at this point. Yeah. So I've got one more sub harness that I'm gonna make for this rear speaker. Um, and that's actually pretty quick. It's not bad. Just terminating two ends of the wire. You can see uh, one of my wires back there, re e. ready and waiting. Um, bolt it in, and then if you follow me to the back, we just need to terminate everything at the end. And you can see there is a ton of extra length on everything. Still gonna have to crimp up the ground wire here. But yeah, we'll have a bit of extra wire. Most of the connections are on the far side of the amp there. You can see. So, one of two ways we can either terminate everything and hide all the wires back there and have all the controls for Chris, which right here, which is I think what he was intending. And I didn't know look, what was what. I just saw stuff there, so I thought everything went into that end. Yeah, no, no, they got they got it kind of mixed up there. The RCAs I think are coming into here. Looks like, and then yeah, all the other power wires and signal wires are coming out the other back end. So we can kind of hide the wires that way, um, and it'll look nice, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, you'll have a couple feet of extra wire, but I think you bought like just enough. We we got it set up pretty good. Shout out to the dude at uh, Slang and Sound and Tint. Yeah, yeah, they hooked us hooked us up yeah. some S fans. That's pretty cool. That's just in case. Okay, so it's all plumbed up. So we're just gonna test it really quick, and assuming it all works, then we can uh, screw it down onto the board right there, kind of tuck the wires back up a little bit. We'll clean them up mildly, uh, just to make sure it looks okay. And then uh, again, when we're doing the subs, everything will get rewrapped and like cleaned up, cleaned up, and make it look nice. So it was a, a third day. We needed a third day because the amp ended up needing some extra RCA. So I had to go out this morning and go get some. Just got it hooked up though. All four speakers are working. It sounds good. So I'm pretty stoked. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. And hopefully one of the next videos, Doug's just swap will be running. And we'll be able to, well, it runs, but it'll be driving. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, and we'll get the exhaust set up for it and whatnot. Um, yeah, anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you want to follow Doge on Instagram, at Doge underscore S2000. If you want to follow Ramon, don't follow Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, at NSX116. Anyways guys, do what you love, forget about the rest, buy some merch, sign up for the Patreon. If you really want to help support me, don't just say you do and hurt my feelings when you give me false hopes. Uh, anyways guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.